Hey, what's going on guys? It's King, and today I'm going to be showing you how to respawn another player using Circuits V2. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. First things first, guys, you want to get your Maker Pen. To do this, we open our watch, go to Backpack, then press Use on your Maker Pen. If you have it favored it, then you can just pull it from your back. Now for the fun part, we need to get our circuit. So to do this, we're going to go to Palette. We're going to need a Trigger Volume. Draw this as big as you'd like. We're going to need a Get Position Chip. We're going to need a vector component, looks like this. And last but not least, you're going to need a respawn. Next, you want to get your connect tool. You want to connect your execution for player entered into the respawn execution. Next, you're going to take the player pin and you're going to plug it into target. What this does is it tells the respawn that whoever executed it needs to be respawned. Next, you're going to get your get position and you're going to plug it the target pin and to the top of this vector component chip. Next, you're going to take your position and you're going to plug it into the other position on the respawn chip. Next, you're going to take the vector pin and plug it into the rotation. Now, this part is optional. You can turn this boolean into false to make it to where if the player gets respawned, they won't see them orange effects on their screen. Now, probably the simplest part, you're going to take your vector component and put it wherever you'd like the player to be respawned. So when I push this trigger zone, it should respawn me facing that direction. Next, let's test it out. And there we go, guys. And that is how you make a respawn point. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please hit that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.